intimacy crisis. Why the Atlantic magazine got it wrong. I am Christina Tehel. Here I recapitulate pivotal sections of first principles in direct quotes from Dr. Mark Offney or Barbara Marks Hubbard woven together from the prior week's One Mountain, Many Paths broadcast. There's an article, America's Intimacy Problem, that just appeared in the Atlantic magazine. What the article essentially asks is, why are people non-intimate? And then goes on to talk about how painful it is to watch how disconnected people are. You would think they've been listening in at One Mountain Many Paths. It's a good intuition. You get the challenge, the tragedy, the invitation and the demand of this moment. And of course you can replace Americas with Europe's or with the global. There is a global intimacy problem. But when you actually read the article, an interview with Michael Hilgers, who is a well-known therapist on the American scene. He explains it in terms of attachment styles, a particular form of psychological understanding. The article is diagnosing this collapse of trust based on exterior barometers, exterior ways of evaluating trust. It says the root causes of these trust issues are impossible to diagnose and they don't know what intimacy is. So they can only identify it by its lack. Maybe it's the global crisis or the war in Europe or smartphones or the pandemic. Those are all important, but those are symptoms. That's the tragedy of the article. If you cannot diagnose, you cannot heal. We need to understand the nature of the emergency. And from the nature of the emergency comes the new emergence. Crisis is an evolutionary driver only if we understand that every crisis is a crisis of intimacy. So what is the root cause of the global intimacy disorder? We cannot be intimate with someone, create intimacy, even begin to address the global intimacy disorder unless we are living in a shared story of value. And that's the core. It's only the experience of a shared story that can address the intimacy disorder. And that shared story has to be a shared story of value, where we experience reality as being a story of value, in which value is rooted in first principles and first values, which are intrinsic structures of the cosmos. In other words, we cannot have intimacy unless we're in the field of value together. And to be in the field of value together means that we have a shared story. Not an ordinary shared story, but an outrageous love story. Intimacy means the depth of our shared story. And the more we link our shared story, the more we link our destiny by experiencing each other as being in a shared story of value in which my story affects your story and your story affects my story. We are at the most critical moment that human history has ever known from the perspective of existence. And we can step in. It's not 50 or 100 years from now, it's now. We can step in and we can tell this new story of value. To be homo amor, to be the new human, to be the new humanity is to have an experience that everything is in the balance and our next decisions tip everything over.